Welcome back. Singles, we got Tech Wizwo versus Sean Cena. This is actually, fun fact, an even matchup. It, cool. It's actually not that bad for Ridley. No, I'm serious. The reason I say that is like it's always been considered like decent for Ridley mains because they can they Red can guard. get them off stage yeah. and guard really easily with the nair. Um, another big thing is that like if you get like it's weird to try to do landing aerials against Ridley because they're so tall. So a lot of the time you can get an early parry with like if they like go it high. So it's they can get get some stuff off of that. Yeah, it's a good point. I guess I'm playing Ridley in this matchup now. <laughs> yeah. You oh, actually, I'd honestly consider it. It's not that bad of a matchup. Yeah. My Ridley's pretty crusty you now, but... Tech Wiz is going to take game one. Yeah. This would be a huge upset if Tech Wiz was able to take this. Yeah. So I, I kind of forgot I even had Ridley, honestly. I was, I was playing Friendly earlier. That's a Ridley. I was like, oh, yeah. I play that character. <laughs> <laughs> one of the few people in the world that play that character. Yeah. I mean, I used to use it to beat Joe. That was like... Yeah, that was a it. long time ago. Like, pre-COVID. Then you stopped that playing. I think it was during, like, during, like... When you came back a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we first came back, I think. Or maybe just before. It was like when we were back in the old venue, you were playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah the old venue, playing. yeah. It was, yeah, like 2020, 2019. Yeah. Sticking Aegis, going right back to PS2, he's saying, I'm a better player, I can do this. That's what he's saying. But with those tech chases, like, it can be, it can be really scary to play against Ridley, for sure. Yeah. He's such a weird character, like... Extremely weird, like absolutely f like wonky, like everything that he does is weird, like his, the way that his moves work. He's got some st like some of the laggiest moves in the game. He's cool though. He is. <laughs> he's huge, like can't believe they put him in this game. It's just, I don't, also don't like his sound effects. Like whenever he gets hit, it's like raw, raw, like a really high pitched noise. Oh my he had God. Had to go for it, he missed the B reverse. Yeah. That's but actually, yeah, he'll tell you he did it on purpose, but he definitely did not. Yeah, I mean, neutral definitely cannot be, like, great for, for her at least, like... No, it definitely isn't. I mean, Mithra probably has some of the best neutral in the whole game. The other big yeah. thing is, is that you can't really edge guard Ridley as Mithra. You just have to deal with the ledge trap. Yeah, it's crazy. It just like you play the character. It's like, huh? Neutral's so free. Like, yeah. I, well, whenever <laughs> it, it's all... it, so is advantage. Like advantage is also super yeah. free too. Like, but the only thing is, is that your disadvantage is pretty bad. So true. It's not even that bad though, because like you have foresight. So it's not the worst. It's just like dangerous. That's all I'll say. Yeah, it's bad when you're off stage. Yeah, like, extremely bad when you're off stage. Yeah. Probably a bottom five recovery in the game. It is a rough. Parry, nice parry, but didn't get the down air out of it. That, and that percent, you kind of oh, have to look for a down tilt up here, but that, that uh, a B will take it. In. Ridley's weirdly not a super heavy, so. Yeah, he's pretty light. I mean, he's not light. For, for how big he yeah, is, yeah. He's like medium ish weight heavy. Will Sean be able to make it back here? Yep, he's going to be able to snap ledge. Yeah, that's. He stay there good, a little too long. Such a good ledge trap tool, he's fireballs. True. Wow, using that foresight to just stay in an advantageous situation. No F smash gonna give him to him, but yes, he's gotta wish to punish that stuff. Like with Ridley F smash, definitely not safe on whiff. Yeah, great little uh, blazing end from uh, from Sean Cena there. Back throw's gonna send her off. It's, it's, if the fireballs are able to hit, it's gonna be taking it. But no, Tech's not taking advantage. It. But that side B yeah, will definitely take it. It's so rough that Ridley doesn't have any kill throws. Like its best kill throw is down throw. That's it's yeah. so, it's so fucked up. It's got side B. Yeah, yeah obviously. But I mean, like out of like out of shield, if you shield grab something. Oh. It's pretty real. Can he hit the down air? Oh, he didn't even go for it. Oh, Sean Cena going off stage. Down tilt, not missing up. Gonna miss the up air follow up. Hits the blazing end. He's not gonna go for the down air through the stage again. He's going for the down tilt two frame again. And then finally gonna get that F tilt. The double take it off the side. Tying it up at 1-1. One, one. I think that Tech Wizard was playing it fine. I think he got a lot of opportunities to edge guard. Just didn't capitalize on them. If he's able to like snag one of those stocks after throwing them off, then I think he'll be able to take it. Yeah, it's like by far the most important part of the matchup. You really gotta nail. Yeah, you gotta hit them off stage. It's like it's the only way to beat them because they're beating you in every other aspect of the game. You have to take advantage of their mm -hmm. only weakness. Now, it might be worth it to like try to like camp the ledge ish. Yeah, exactly. you get like a bad throw. Exactly. You get hit, you, the advantage is less bad. So used to complain about that a lot is that everyone would play kind of the same way against them at a higher level. They would all kind of like 
be in the corner. They try to pivot grab his stuff, or like they try to roll behind him and get a read. And like if you get hit, it's not that bad. Yeah, you just get hit on stage for like twenty percent. Yeah. The yeah, only like, thing is, is like if the Aegis is really good at ledge trapping, then you're actually gonna start feeling some pain. But yeah, but even Redly like does not struggle that much at the ledge. Like yeah. he has some good ledge options. Definitely. With like Nair and Side B, and like he has a good amount of mix ups. He has three jumps. He can really take his time. It's huge down tilt. I did not think it was that big. Can yeah, I throw the? It is huge. Tech was just throwing out a lot of those like non-committal like if I hit this it'll give me a big reward options but I think against Aegis you kind of can't do that because they even have the most like no risk like lowest risk reward out of all of their stuff so that you need to kind of go for some risks to beat them I find like you need to like go off stage and hit them even though it might like result in you getting ledge trapped it's just it's so important to keep get that kill against them because once you have a lead it's not that bad but when you're down against them it feels even worse than normal he got the down air. That actually would have comboed into up smash, but he just didn't pull the trigger. Yeah. Sean's playing a little, yeah, yeah, that's playing a little scared here. Respecting Ridley a little too much. He's not yeah. getting any punishes on Ridley's options. Like, really? I said with dash attack, like his burst options are all pretty I'll weak. take it. He's going to probably kill him here with the neutral B. Oh, he's not. Oh, there, you're going to get oh, the four air. Yeah. take it. Like I said, like if you're able to get those edge guards, you're gonna find a way to win. Yeah, just like one there can be the end for, yep. for ages. I'm sorry, he's also not doing like the the hold down with uh, really a B. Yeah, like, because Sean just keeps like trying to down tail that ledge. It should be like the freest like beefy up B to beat. Yeah, you can get a huge combo, or not a combo, a huge percent yeah, yeah, off yeah. of hitting that B. And you also just get the like. Oh free. wow, he got that air dodge re, but he didn't get anything off of it. Sean's now got him at ledge. Yeah, I see, like, trying yeah. to keep, like... Yeah, keeps going for the down tilts, which it, is not good. It is so rough. Tech is just gonna keep doing the B to ledge. Wow, oh, got wow. the poke with That's the up air, too. Oh, not gonna get anything. Back throw's gonna fend him off. Oh, he's oh, just pummeled too many times. Tech is choking a little bit here. Yeah, roll in, misses the tech yeah. again. That could have been huge if he got the back through. Yeah, that'll take it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a stock lead there. Yeah. If he goes for that every time, it's super easy to time. I, yeah. I think that like it's super duper easy. That should definitely be the option over there. You, yeah. you can kill them like 100% of the time with that. And it's like, worst case scenario, me, that's you just like drop them. Well, tech like, has not been messing, mixing it up at all. He's been yeah. using all his jumps, and then he gets low, and then he goes straight up to ledge. Like it happens every single time. You. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I see no. double that jump. Dead. And he's dead. Yeah. Oh, oh makes okay. it back. No uh, down air. Down tilt up before there. That's right. There you go. There's side B mix ups. Forward tilt. Yeah, Sean's got a command on the neutral right now. Backer's going to send right, off, but he's still, still just going yeah, for the it. flame. Oh, no, yeah, that's he, so free. Oh, my take God. It. Yeah, that was like the freest edge guard ever. He just like whip a jab. Well, crash smash whiffing. No punishes from either of these players. And yeah. he's going to get the down. He doesn't go for the down air. Ready huh. tens. It's even if Dex was this much in out of back here, uh, not gonna take it. Release heavy enough to live that. Up air is not gonna do it. One more will though. It's always super close because like one edge guard, it's over, right? True. Yeah. No. Especially if you're staying on Pyra, like if he's not gonna switch oh, to Mithra God. and that, get that aerial mobility, like it's gonna be tough. That'll oh. Make it. Yeah, that's good. Oh my God! It barely that kicked. DI too, like drifted out. And shorts use good. Oh, it's not. It's best of three. Yeah, best of five, I mean. I was completely. Uh, Is it all best of five? All whole things best of five. Oh. You're so long. Are we played? Solar's gonna, gonna leave. There, that's me. So we'll do this one. How's everyone doing today? I think here on this try talking again. Hello. I think you're, yeah, you're not you're now you're unmuted. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I think I unmuted your mic. That's what. That's yeah. What it was. We might as well just get rid of all of them and then because if they're all tangled up anyway, it's hard to tell. Yeah, no, for sure. So the way this has been going is that Sean lost game one, and then he kind of has been figuring out tech as it's been going on. Mm. 
Tech has been recovering like very similar ways, jumping a lot. Yeah. And, and this matchup is actually not that bad for Ridley because like Ridley has really good ways of getting them off stage. Yeah. It's just, and the Aegis recovery is not that great. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And if he's able to just capitalize with those nares off stage, then he's going to definitely take this. But Sean's been able to get back more than often. So. Yeah. Well, I must say, as uh, someone who fought both players, uh, I do cheer for for Sean Cena because you know he's yeah. a great acquaintance and also BBC. Yeah. But I also want to say that Tech is a great player too. Yeah. No. He's definitely. Su he's super nice too. So. Extremely nice. And, yeah. And has the most fire tweets of all time. Yeah. I know. He's good. He's good. It's up there with like Drimbus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think my set's been called. Okay. So, uh, yeah, well, yes. yes. Good luck. Perhaps we'll commentate later. Yep. That's me. Okay. Perfect. Whoever takes this first stock will be in a super advantageous situation. This is the first match on stream. There's other matches being played off stream. Yeah. Nice. Oh, have a scabba. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Tech West is going to even it right back up. Yeah, I know. When you get it in Blender against Aegis Advantage State, it's pretty bad. But when you have those multiple jumps, sometimes you can find an easy way or an easier way to land. How many entrants? Um, if you click exclamation point bracket in the chat, you can uh, see the bracket and you can you can see the you can see the whole bracket and follow along at home. I believe there's a good amount of entrants today. I think in total we have. Uh, you're gonna want to go to the. Uh, the La Hub one, I think. If it's not the right one, I'll get Bernie to switch that in a bit. Sean seems going to spike him off, and he's going to take a like pretty much a half stock lead, but he's already at 87%. He's getting edge guarded, and that'll take it. Tech Wiswa can just do that as he pleases. If he's able to space it properly. Being on this platform is really scary for Ridley. Whittling down the shield is Sean Cena. Tech's using these nares to anti-air quite well. Uh, playing super defensive. Well, I like to see it. But going for those hard reads, sometimes you can get really punished. But Sean has not been punishing those. Up smash, not going to connect. Missed it. Doesn't have to tech. He keeps going for those side B reads on the rolls away, but he's not getting them. Sean's able to get... If Sean's able to get some Mithra advantage state going here, then it's going to be really good. Forward throw into a tech chase. Down smash sends him off. Doesn't get the downer, but parries the up B. Got him in a ledge trap. Gets him off once more. How's Tech going to reset the situation? Doesn't go for the down air once again, but forward airs him off again. Only two jumps left. Up bees, no down air. Back throw sends him off. This could be the stock, but no, Sean's going to make it back with a blazing end. This is anyone's game, no matter the percents. Aegis can die at any percent. Sends her off again. But he's going to be able to wait out the, uh, the fire breath, and that'll take it. He's just not going to make that back, and that's going to be game four going to Tech Wizard, sending us to a game five. I pinned the message. There's the bracket. Thank you, Keith. Message has bracket has been pinned. I have to go, but uh, best of luck for the rest of the commentator. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's not fixed. I'm manually doing it right now. I'm I forgot what manually doing it. Like we changed the Like it's not letting us pick the sets from down there.
Hey, there we go. Look at that. Hello, everybody. Oh, no, not with it. Okay, so it's game one. Go to email. And ask. Love to see it. Yo, what's up? Oh, yeah, I know. I, I still have to finish my... Actually, I think I, I think I have to go finish my match right now. So, it only heard me for like half a second. Game two. Okay, game two, don't eat man. Was it a two over right now, beef boss? Yes. Thank you very much. Happy to help. Happy to have you here. With the little Mac. Okay, interesting. Uh, E-Man, not a stream to the Little Mac. Maybe a little off of, uh... Good to me, Thank you. Thank uh, you. It may be a bit... Rusty with it, but... We'll see. We'll see. Ow. <laughs> yeah, you'll give it to him. Okay, cool. Midnight's just finished. I think I am up. If Midnight wants to play right now, I don't know. If, uh, so take that, but maybe, maybe once a break.
Uh, Hello? Alright. Uh, we are here with Fumito Keiko. So... I know Keiko has a decent amount of Roy experience because he does have Cal in his region, so... I feel like he'd be okay at the matchup. But, uh... So far, Fumito is definitely showing off his prowess. I'm pretty sure Fumito is seated to win. That's how I would see it personally, but uh, he's definitely considered to be, I would say, a higher ranked player. And he's playing it really well right now. Just keeping uh, Men Knight on ledge, or he was at least. Now he got off, but caught the jump. That was, that was a good jump for you by K. Cool. Bringing it back to even stocks. Now Fumito just looking for anything to send him off, send him into like a juggle situation or an offstage spot like that. So now, now he's just gonna try to keep him on the ledge and get the kill off of it. Hopefully, yeah, just ledge trap, ledge trap, ledge trap. Yep, there it is. Oh, that should have been back here, but he gets the fair anyways, regardless. Oh, that was an SD. Unfortunate. I don't know how you forget how many jumps you have in the meta, but you know it is what it is.
Okay, so the scoreboard assistant is a little messed up. I'm gonna try and get it as close as possible. Nevada versus Joe. Uh, yes, it is game one for Nevada versus Joe. First game. Oh my god. Okay, they're still going. Oh, no, they're not. Goodbye. Take that first game. Going to go. And, uh. I don't know why this isn't working, but it is. When is round three? There we go. All right, Nevada switching to the Mario. Battlefield, I like it. Oh, nice, give him back, bro. This is, I guess, since Rob's hurt box is like so large, a lot of Wii Fit's uh, wacky hitboxes, they usually are maybe a little too obtuse to actually connect with. Have an easier time, but Mario might be a completely different story. Oh, the double up air and the dunk still makes it back though. Nice timing. He's got the he's got his mashes. He's got them on deck. Oh, the roll. It was a little too early to start charging that board smash. Oh, but he doesn't make it back. Damn. It's rough. Still trying to catch him while he's off stage. Oh, over top of the soccer ball, but wasn't able to get a big punish. Trying to land these back airs. One more will probably do it. Especially at this ledge. No, not with the get up attack. Let's charge it. There's the up smash. We'll take that first stop. And he's in into it with those down airs. Still has that flood charge. Get a little cape action. And knocks the soccer ball back for a little extra pressure, but he's nowhere near him. I'm going to be hanging around down there. Nice. Get him with the back throw. Still has the charge. Both of them. Nice block. Going up. Still going. Up B. There it is. It's the Mario. The four tilt is one shot. The reflect on the soccer ball, doing the bit of a double duty. Oh, okay. Using that double jump to get a little bit more shield pressure. Sun salutation. Oh, the the trade off. Nah, he air dodges in. Okay. No, you're not going to be able to get a ladder from there. Oh, coverage. Four tilt coverage. Guess the deep breathing. Now you're in danger. Danger zone. Oh, whiffing forward smashes in front of each other. Get the jab out. Blood? Blood time? Nope. Just waiting. Still. <laughs> down there on the forward air. I can't believe you can get another aerial out after that down there. I feel like it should be a laggy move, but it just isn't. Get a deep breathing. Oh, that could be it. That could be the, the pivotal moment. No, not with the turn soccer ball. The reverse edge guards and the forward tilt coverage once again. Able to sun salutation and take that game too. Joe is a real one. Game 
three. They going back? Sticking with the Mario. Small battlefield. That's nice. Get the deep breathing off. Oof. There you go. Up there, up there. Another one. There it is. Four tilt sent about. Huge back air. Get the deep breathing. Oh my goodness. Down smash safe. Safer than most, anyway. Oh, gets the grab. Nah, no. Not able to pick up after the up air strings. A down tilt? Ah, oh, he's reaching. He's reaching. That's 100% of the shots he don't take. Four throw does kill. Yeah, yeah, you hit him with the get up attack. These up tilts, if he keeps trying to land on them. Finally, Yoda just threw, gets that off stage situation. Let's see. He was able to take it. The Nair. Oh, just a little, not far enough in order to punish the roll. The tech roll. Oh, the soccer ball. Doing so much work. The double back air from short hop. No. Oh, okay. Nice tech. Oh, and that same situation now with the reversal. Joe going to pick it up. Two stocks ahead and the deep breathing down air. Not going to kill him. Okay, that up smash will. You'll take it to him. Put your head in the game. The forehead. Oh, tried to pick it up, but still able to cover it. Into the down air. Nice. 88. No up smash, though. Ooh. Oh, it has two sides to it. The trades. I'll take trades. Oh, tried to space out a forward smash. Not going to happen. Now Joe has that deep breathing once again. And the forward tilt. Show him where he has to go. That's a 3 0. Go in Nevada. Nicely done. Nicely done. Hello, guys. How are you? Um, we are still going. Uh, I'm going to have to take a guess on who's up next. Uh, but we'll see. Squidney versus E-Man. What set is that? E-Man Squidney is also a winner's round three. Why does it keep breaking? It's so weird. And Squidney. E-Man. Nice. Turn off caps lock, because that's crazy. Uh, the Bayonetta. Yeah, you got it. We are ready to rock. Oh, got to get to the other side. There we go. Wait a minute. Just kidding. I got to swap player sides. <laughs> Wait, what? They're both the same. What? What is this? Well, anyway, Squidney is uh, playing Fox and E-Man is playing Bayonetta. Let's, uh, let's do this. Do this, so this is 
which How about that? That's a little better, I guess. Um, let's... I think it needs to be... put... down a little bit? That looks good. I think that looks good. Okay. Nice. So, E Man is last stock now. But, uh,. Always on a deficit. Don't 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 count them out. Well, that up smash will count you out. Take that first game. I want to squid. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the FGC stream and I'll be right.
making it easy. Hello, hello. So we got E-Man versus Squidney in game four. E-Man in the... I mean, E-Man was... E-Man's leading the set, but he just dropped that stock real quick. Quidney also dropping down to a second stock here. It sure is. What's up, Mitsuki? Hell yeah, thanks for that. I played exclusively Lucas today, even though I should have gone Mewtwo against uh, Cosmic. I was ahead two. I mean, I, I think we, I think I was ahead. I, now it was me win, then him, then me, then him, then him again. But uh, you gotta work so you couldn't make it out to singles. That's too bad. You have game sound, right? Oh, E-Man dropping down his last stock. Awesome. Yeah, we don't have any... There's no sound coming through my headset. E-Man positioning himself to take this game. Is that a? F He's only at a twenty percent lead at this point. Ten percent. But he's in a great position to take the set. All he needs is the stock, and he's got the three-one over Squidney. Oh, the forward smash takes it. E-Man goes up three-one over Squidney. Very good win. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know he's on camera, guys. All right, up next we have Shucky versus Solar Flare. All right, it's going to be some Bowser versus Palo, huh? So this thing still isn't moving right. Got it. Three, two, one, go! 
Oh, come on. Please load. There we go. So you have Shucky versus Solar Flare on PS2. The old standby. Palu does have quite the advantage over Bowser. So it's going to be up to Solar Flare to try and make outplays over Shucky. Solar dropping that first stock within the first 30 seconds. Not a safe place to be. here. This is the chance for Solar to take a stock off of Shucky. At 90%, Palutena can get knocked off. The Bowser Bomb nearly takes the stock. Wow, Shucky was trying to get the counter off stage, but Solar was not falling for it. Instead, he lands that two-frame to F-Tilt. All right, tries to get the grab off ledge. Goes a little wide and falls into Palutena's forward smash. Stock on Solar. He's nearly grabbed. He nearly grabbed that one off of Shucky. Run off fair. Not going to take it. Shucky position to take this as a two stock if he's able to keep Solar off stage. Wow. Solar nabs him in the air with a Bowser Bomb. That was an insane grab. I can't believe that worked. Fifty percent on Solar Flare. Not an easy place to stand. Ooh, jab two into dash, actually connecting off stage. Bowser bomb. Solar trying to call out the teleport back to back to center stage. Not quite getting it though. Shucky closing that out in a very close game one. Too bad for you. That was really close. Yeah, Solar's adjustments are so scary. Game two on a hollow bastion. Should be a little bit different with that center platform. Both fighters will be able to handle these platform resets way more easily. Right stage control. Keep swapping back and forth between the two of them. Bomb nearly connecting to the center platform. Oh, 
Bowser Bomb in place, almost takes it. If he would have gotten onto that platform, it's very possible he would have taken it for sure. Okay, Bowser down to his second stock. Solar already on the back foot. Without Rage, it's going to be a little bit harder to take out Palutena, even at 110%. Chucky going for this the early spike. It's scary because Bowser's Flying Fortress, his, his up B, Whirling Fortress? Flying Fortress, I uh, it, it has like an extra hard hitbox at the top of it. Oh, he takes the stock. He SDs to take that stock early. Not wanting to fight with the 100% deficit. Solar Flare evens out the stocks and tries to have better luck on the final one. Yeah, with a real, very, very read heavy. Wow. An absolutely read heavy neutral going into a, a miss input by Shucky, flopping himself onto game three. Solar Flare evening out the set with that. Jeez, that was, a, that was a fantastic reset. All right. Running it back to PS2 for game three. Chucky feeling like the previous Sage, Hollow Bastion, not exactly what he wants. A lot of control coming out from Shucky. 50% lead. Oh, there it is. The uh, the top hitbox of the Whirling Fortress has like a little bit of extra armor on it. They dodged a platform. Wow, the forward smash going wide. And of course, Bowser's roll is so short. But even when he was rolling to get up, it didn't get him in, in close enough for the explosive flame. Counter off stage, nearly taking it. Wow, Shucky letting Solar get back for free. Goes for the, the dodge roll instead. All right, that's the one that takes it. The Nair takes it near the top right corner. Yo, the up smash calling out the jump. Good call out from Solar Flare. Did Nevada just rage off? Oh, Nevada BD Taco. I've got it. That was a pop, not a rage. Pivot turn to forward tilt does not land. Solar Flare on the back foot by 100%. Gonna have to play super careful if he wants to get this game. Really has to take advantage of this rage that he has. A rage empowered Bowser is no laughing matter. He just needs to do something with it. Unfortunately, he pressures shield a little too much and drops that suck. Reset back to 0% rage. You see, if he had the rage, that up smash probably would have killed. That was a really quality up smash coming out from Shucky, though. Maybe Bowser Bomb gives a little bit of stage control. Ooh, up smash straight off the top. Oh, this dash attack from Palutena is really, really annoying no matter who you are. There's invincibility frames on it. Not easy to deal with. Ooh, 
Wow, the pivot up tilt. Back throw. You can see, yo, he was pivoting for the, he was positioning for the down tilt to try and get a down tilt two frame. Yeah, that's a hard one to avoid. Palutena down throw. I think you have to DI up and out. This is so scary for both fighters. <gasps> That's not it yet. If it would have landed on that platform. Dash attack takes it from center stage. Wow. Shucky grabbing game three off his of solar flare. That was an impressive dash attack, I guess. Yep. Nope. That was all dash attack. No, it was a dash attack. It was an aerial dash attack because it still has the iframes on it. It's the same thing. Dash attack and back air both have iframes on it. Starting out a little bit, uh, a little bit rough for Solar Flare. He's already a hundred percent in the hole. Ooh, explosive flame, almost taking it. This is so scary for Solar Flare. He's just stuck off stage. He can't get back to neutral at all. The down throw nearly grabbed, sh <laughs> grabbed stage control for Shucky, but he immediately loses it. Solar Flare in disadvantage by 100%. Sorry, by an entire stock. Nearly grabs it with the up smash, though. Bowser Bomb. Stage control and nearly grabs the stock. Wow. He, he's just spamming these up smashes and dodging everything. Oh no. Solar Flare gets stuck under stage. Shucky up two stocks in game four. Up one stock in game four. Solar in control. He gets the kill. Solar evens it out. Both fighters on their last stock. What bracket? Right, Shucky takes it 3-1 over Solar Flare. And then I think we have Catalyst versus someone next. Catalyst versus Pixels will plenty. I'm gonna try to load up that set and then I'm gonna run to the washroom. Enjoy the start of the set. 
again. Hello, 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 hello. All right, what's the set going? This is Midnight's versus Fumito, huh? Hola, for sure, bud. I've been sitting down all day. Oh, yep. Oh, well, my microphone's already active. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you hear yours? No, I. Oh, uh, now I can. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So we have Fumito versus Midnight. Fumito grabbing a really quick stock. Not even 15 seconds in. Mm. Midnight was just sitting around, chilling and relaxing before this set started. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think Fumito is coming right off of running friendlies. Mm. Yeah, so he's just like very fresh now. Uh, mm -hmm. and he's doing like good damage on the Robin here and like keeping her off stage and stuff. Yeah, there's taking uh, collections. But Robin's actually very good. Well, Midnight specifically is very good with uh, recovery. Mm -hmm. like, he's really good at playing from behind as well. Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. Also, and also ledge trapping people is like his probably his greatest strength. Because as of now, like as, as a cloud player, I cannot do anything. <laughs> Ooh, good catch with the forward air. Mm -hmm. And it, that's a forward to back air, nipping that first stock off of the what, per what percentage was that? Uh, enough. <laughs> It's always at least like a uh, probably like around uh, uh, 100. Yes, yeah, so he's trying to get like a hit on him, like doing good spacing, but very difficult to pull off, especially with Roy, because if if you get the tip, that's like the opposite of like Mar, for it's like the sweet spot is like at the beginning of the sword, like around like the like near the hand of Roy. Yep, Roy does have that hitbox real close to his face. Hmm. Nice, so you have 44%. Now Fumito still ahead by an entire stock. Yeah, I think Midnight's is going to have to just take this back in game two. Mm. He's oh. really far behind yeah, right now. Yeah, but he already got backstage trouble off just one move. Gets caught. Out of shield. He just throws the projectiles <laughs> now. Yeah, but those projectiles could take it from this far away. I, I, I noticed how uh, Fumito just like waited until to get hit by the flame. Because it's like better to just get hit because like oh, you can Thoron. just re-grab it. He shoots the Thoron mid-air so he can reset his uh, his L Thunder. Mm -hmm. L Thunder is a little bit better yeah, for what setting he does. the kill. What he'll do is, what, what he'll do is once one of his gauges is low, he'll use it so mm -hmm. that it starts recharging again. And, and he does it especially for recovery. Good. Good game one coming out of Fumito. Indeed. I mean, that first stock dropped off within the first 15 seconds, and that's kind of crazy. It's the first stock that I've seen drop, and drop that fast today. Mm. No, Fumito's been grinding, and he lives with... In the, uh, he's been playing a shit ton with So. It's true. For the past, like, I think, week, week and a half. Yeah, and so is not here. No. So for everybody else, there's a pretty decent chance. Yeah. Yeah, we got unusual people here. We got Big Mike. We got Papa Room. Yeah, we don't have so. We don't have Light. We don't have any of the uh, any of the Freddy or St. John players here. Uh, we have a yeah, we have a couple of St. John. Yeah, we have, yeah, there's Nevada and uh, GDL. Oh, GDL. GDL's, GDL's GDL. here. GDL's here. Freddy. Freddy. Oh, oh, you mean St. Nobody from St. John, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's, I mean, we have very few players from, like, the other main cities. Okay. Well, I guess I saw Catalyst here, too, right? Yes, Catalyst is here. Yeah, you, you played on stream just recently. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I haven't been watching. <laughs> What's up, Keaton? 
Man, there's, a lot, there's not a whole lot of uh, top players at this tournament. There's a lot of opportunity at this Yes, it, I, that's, that, that's the way you, I should put it, indeed. Like, it's very diverse. We have a lot of diverse skills like today. Catalyst, Squidney, Tech Wizwa, GDL was one of the cards. Mm. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice block. He has no jump. Oh, but he still recovers. Wow. Rose recovery is not, not bad, it seems. Well, Midnight, unfortunately for him, whiffed his, uh, his punish because that oh, was yeah. a very easy hit on Roy. That would have helped. I see he lets himself get hit by it, but in this time it doesn't work though because he loses neutral. That that's neutral B, right? Uh, which one? The electric yes. electricity. Yes. Sure is. Yeah, they're all just like testing each other out, like really trying to play neutral, but. Slowly but surely, Fumito gets to the ground. Oh, scary spawn. Oh, my. That was dirty. Punish coming out from Fumito. Oh, for sure. It was a great punish. But just... You can just get a little combo here and there, and it should be good, because Fumito's last talk, and he's off air. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, my God. Good kill. Midnight's bringing it to even. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I don't know what stages are good and bad for. I've only been, like, the past couple of months, I've been studying, like, stages. Mm -hmm. we, can hear, we can hear Midnight from here. Uh, yeah. People are shouting at him from nearby. <laughs> coaching! Coaching! Oh, Pixels is over there. That's who it yeah, is. Yeah, of course. There's, there's a bit of a rivalry between these two, but, like, a very, like, wholesome one. I, li I love it. You see? Pixel's just chilling there in the background. Yes, I see it. It's definitely not a 2v1. Hi, Pixels. <laughs> there we go. All right, running into Battlefield for game two. Game three, sorry. So just a reminder, been, this is um, this is five. yeah this best of five, but it's not top eight yet. It's not top eight. Yeah, this is to make it into top eight on winner side. Mm. And top eight starts at five thirty, which is an hour and a half from now. Oh, the Robin stairs! Oh, Yo, he tried to go double fire into Nosferatu. Yeah, I need to check the schedule. Catch with L Thunder. Arc Thunder? Arc Thunder's third level. Oh my oh, god. god! What happened? Hey, that was uh, that was the, the sword sweet spot. Yeah, going that, through that, the projectile. That, that, that could have been made, but then I could actually go through a move. What? One one. Yeah. That's very. It's very tight right now. It sure is. Both players are just exchanging stocks. You're sure you're, you shouldn't be more comfortable sitting in that chair? Yeah, super comfortable. Yeah. Why? Are oh. you uncomfortable? <laughs> I'm just like, how are you comfortable in this? You got back issues. If anything. Oh my god. Oh, so there we go. Okay, that's actually comfortable. Yeah, it's not it's, bad. Yeah, at least, and you get some stretching too. Oh, yoga. Practicing my Wii Fit. <laughs> Your inner Wii Fit, yeah. Practice deep breathing. Ring Fit Adventures is real, though. Mm, yeah, that I'm... game is goaded. Okay, Midnight and Fumito. Part way through game three, both of these fighters still very even. Wow. Normally, that ends in a stock loss. But the side special, Dancing Blade, nearly takes Midnight's out. Neither one of them can finish each other off. There we yeah. go. The Levin Sword to the back of the head. Yeah. 
Okay, the up tilt from Fumito evens it out. Both fighters on their last stock in game three. Which one of them will take the lead in this set? Yeah. I got huge teeth from there. Yeah, such a <laughs> his voice carries so far. I still never chatted with him. I don't think. Yeah, but what? I've still never chatted with him. I've never talked to him. Mm. And we see him uh, very often in the the BBC server. Mm -hmm. Right. Damage piling oh. up on Fumito. He's gonna have to do something special if he wants to turn this back around. Like, oh my wow. god. Perfect attack get up. Nobody attack gets up through that. Yeah, I mean, I was like, okay, I'm not even trying this. I'll just reset the control. It's just... Oh. oh. If he would have rolled in instead of rolling out, Midnight's would have died off of that for sure. Mm. Whoa, what is he doing? What is he cooking? What is he cooking? What is happening? Neither fighter wants to lose. Oh, okay, yeah, it's recover. Fire was not the right move there. Oh, almost a two frame. Roy is a fire type. <laughs> he went for it again. No re grab. Oh, oh my god, god, that kill from all the way across stage? How strong is this move? Oh Listen. That's a difficult question. Oh my god. Midnight is shouting out that the worst thing is dying after spending like four or five seconds flying in the air like that. Yeah. Like getting, getting hit from across stage and then floating for like three or four seconds before finally dying off the top, that's just, yes, it's that's a lot. like Smash 4. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, it is Smash 4. So it's how it used to happen all the time. All right, I think, yeah, I think he switched skins now. But yeah, it's very even. It's likely for me to, if the, if it keeps going like that, for me to will take this game. But obviously, like, nothing's written yet. Yeah. No. Uh, no. No, you're joking. Ah. <laughs> uh, Hyper gets to play against Leffen. Of That's all the funny. players, too. Of all the players. Yeah. Just tell him to unplug him. Just like reach over and unplug Leffen's controller while he's playing. <laughs> yeah. It's be a good and friend. Be a good friend. You get famous friend. from it, you know? <laughs> you get famous from it. Yeah, but it, you probably get banned, but. Yeah, what, what's the famous in that case? A bit of Twitter clout, which is like one of the worst things you can have in today's society. Yeah, against Leffen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this is your legacy, just the one person who <laughs> pissed pissed off Leffen at, <laughs> at a random Canadian tournament. Oh my oh god, my yeah, he was trapped. The fire to Leffen. Fire at 11? Fire to Lef Leffen. Uh, Leffen. Fire Leffen. <laughs> okay, you know, we're, we're, we're not playing tongue twisters here, come on. No, we're playing... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, There's he, no he fire ran left. Up. Man, thank god he has a limit, otherwise, like... The book is empty, but it's going to come back online very shortly. Levin Sword is halfway back up already. If he can hold out on this stock until it comes back online. Levin's back on. Levin can take stocks. Oh my Only God. one he player in, fa in, in NB can be famous. And his name is not Keith Maber. Oh, the fucking book! The, the electric book. The Thunderbook. All right, all right. Fumito down to his last stock in winter bracket. Oh, that was a nice of being us call out there. He needs two stocks. Otherwise, he's going to have to make it to top eight from the loser's side. Yeah. Oh, there you Ooh. go. There you go. Like that I said, it's so, it's so even. Was it a wall jump? Yeah, I think so. Or like, no, no, he had the ledge and then just like quickly did a back air by like dropping off of it. It was a ledge trump to back here. Okay. Yeah, it's something that not many people do. It's a very rare occurrence. I, because there aren't that many characters. Oh my god. Okay. 
Fumito was kind of popping up there, creating some combos on him. 77, definitely, like, if if uh, Midnight stays at ledge, he can, he can definitely die there. Oh, e oh, never mind, not yet. Roy can't wall jump? That's disgusting. Yeah, that's su I'm so surprised Claw can do it, and he has a sword that's 10 times heavier. Yeah, like, there's so many characters that can wall jump. Almost every character can wall jump. Every character that's not a heavyweight should be able to wall jump. Yeah. Unless you have multi-jump, like Jigglypuff. <laughs> I'm glad Jigglypuff can't wall jump. Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be cursed beyond belief. Ooh, nice. Yeah, if you're just using the platforms to his advantage. Oh, the end lag here. Good call, not like spamming a side B, because otherwise he would have been dead. None of the fire elements can. I wish this that... rule of wall jumps for like this mechanic was applied more consistently. That doesn't make any sense. I understand some characters having it some though, but at least it needs to be clear. Like, why exactly? Like, I, for, I know heavies. Oh, no. Good kill. Midnight's taking it 3-1 over Fumito. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. And the rain's just starting up outside, so I'm going outside. Yes. All right, and we shall be right back for the next set.
All right, do you hear your voice? Perfect. And now we are back for Loha Monthly, July 2023. For this set, we have E-Man versus Joe rocking the beanie tag. Tag of one of his closest friends, of course. Uh, oh, that was... But thank God he had a bit of a low percentage here, because otherwise that would have been pretty bad. Here, but here, so, so Joe gets his deep breathing in, so it's not time to go on the offense. To go on the attack, of course. And Iman is one of the best players in the, in the PEI. He mains Bayonetta as usual. So here are both players are not both players are not holding punches here. Like they're all like they're pulling out the, the big guns pretty much. I admire the players who are able to um who are able to like keep to themselves very close to uh, Wii Fit so that she they don't so that she doesn't get her um her deep breathing. Oh my god, no way to soccer ball kills. <laughs> what do you say? I think you said Smash Bill and Hollow Bastion for bands. Okay. Battlefield? Okay. Mm, yes, of course. The, you gotta get any advantage you can, whether it's like actually like meta advantage or like psychological advantage. <laughs> yes, of course. Play care rule, play min min. Like, turn off your brain. Why think? Uh, at least that takes a little bit more skill, for sure. But anyways, this is game two already. It's the first one went by really fast. Joe sure really had like chose all the options like very uh very well. But here it's starting. I think. Do you think the turn the tables are turning? Perhaps because right now it's. Mm, I think it's a bit too early to say. I won't say anything. Mm. Yeah, but I uh, I do very much like uh, I like uh, Battlefield, so I understand why it's like my favorite stage. So I understand why E-Man went on that. Yes, of course, catching people in on platforms and stuff. I'm also getting another option of recovering because Joe's edge guard is uh, it's it's rough for like the for his opponent, of course, like. Ooh, solar. So far, it's relatively even, and I probably just cursed him. Exactly. <laughs> every time, every time I say this looks even, or it's like, oh, someone's got it good. Like the person I just named, like gets died. It's like, a, it's like they're, it's like a curse with a voodoo doll. Oh, that's, oh, <gasps> no, that's death. That's death. Oh. He didn't back it. Yeah, Farley was already very close, but I think he did want to take that chance, which I fully understand. Ooh, nice, nice get up option. Just, just, just like stalling it. That's what a lot of people don't want and realize at some point. It's like, sometimes like it's not like what you're doing that's wrong. It's wrong that you're doing something. You're, if your opponent always like expect that you're gonna at least do something, like out of uh, like out of your getup, out of your recovery, out of like your shields, no matter like how many different options you have, they'll play accordingly. If they're good, they'll play accordingly and they'll beat you. A lot of times, better not do nothing. You, you approach your shield and do nothing, so they and they they just like spot dodge and there you go. You get a big punish off of it. Yeah, I had Sean tell Sean Cena. The, we had a conversation a couple months ago about that. He said that I that's exactly how he said that. He said this is how he beats me most of the times because like he knows that I'm going to do something. Yeah. Even if I mix it up or something, sometimes it's better to not do anything. That will throw your opponent off. And I realized like, yeah, he, Sean is right. Absolutely. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Stretching your spine helps stimulate your 
Oh, Second caster's mic is muted. Oh, what do you mean exactly it's muted? Like, is it like too loud or is it like the audio quality is bad? Because, can I? One second, everybody. Yeah, this might be uh, this might be the bad headset, as Rick Martin says. Uh, no clue. Yeah. This is what you always label your stuff, especially in a big uh, when you're in a big uh, part part of a big scene. Uh, so it's been good, but oh yeah, so Eman decided to go back to Battlefield. Despite the fact that it did not work, but maybe it's just like he just thinks like it was a bad game or something, which I fully understand that can happen too. Sages are really important, but all they really do is like they give you that ex they give you that like extra push, that extra help that you need, like in the best case scenario. They're not super game changing, but they do like they do like have a lot of influence on the meta. Yeah, like I like FDO. Yeah. Oh, that was a daring force smash. Could have died from it, but he won the bet, and now it's uh, three, two, three, two for uh, Eman. Can he be able to recover? Oh, oh, the nice teching. Oh, oh he's, he's buried. Not the pressure. I think Joe. I think this is bad news for Eman. Joe likes the platforms. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, you see, just off the top. He had D raving to us, was no way. Like, he died like what one? He meant like what? 120? <laughs> yeah, I think it was around that. I'm not paying too much attention to the percentages, even though I probably should. So, forgive me for that. Forgive me for my ignorance. <laughs> yeah, we're getting that commentary salary tonight, boy. We're eating good. Jab, the combos, combos to jab is always such a cool thing to see. It's like almost like a Shoto combo. I love it. Your e man's out of the the percentage advantage. Not for long though, because he is in the air. And Joe loves it when the opponent's like right above above them. God. Joe just doesn't even bother to go like to go like seek uh, E-Man off stage. He's just like, yeah, no, I'll just I'll just I'll just do my deep breathing. I'll get my ridiculous buff once more. It's very good, very very good. I think if it wasn't for deep breathing, we fit would draw by like one tier or perhaps two. She's not a bad character, but she she's mid. I tried it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, def Joe defending himself with the soccer ball. You know what's something funny? It's, it's not really off. It's not really on topic. But I've lived in Canada my whole life. I'm born and I, I've, I've been raised there. I cannot say soccer with a straight face. For me, it's football. Because how they say like across like the entire world, yeah. like Europe, Africa, and South America, they all call it like uh, like football. My parents are from France, so that's why, like, that's probably why, because like I call it, that's why I call it soccer, uh, football. People would say it's a soccer World Cup, and I'm like it's, <laughs> yes, but it's actually the football world. Officially, it's the football World Cup. It's the FIFA. Anyways, back to the game. At this time, it seems very relatively even. So, so oh yeah. Again, my commentary skirts. I say it's really is relatively even. I need to stop saying that, dude. I'm scuffing the results. Yeah. I wonder if Joe's gonna go to PS2. Because I know he always like loves and loves that stage. Not this time, Town City. Okay. Yeah, but it's not great. It's also not great for Bayo. Because. Yeah, exactly. You can use debriefing very easily. 
And also, um, despite the fact that Bayou is both a good on ground in the air, there's a bit too much ground. That's the problem. Like, if you're a character that sucks in the air and, like, you uh, you do not want to face, like, Bayo, you want to face, if you need to take her to a stage like Tam, to get, like, as much, like, ground as possible. Because he knows that if she, if Joe, tr Joe knows that if he tries to fight E Man, like, on, like, outside of the stage, it'll just gonna be, like, very tough. And it's also the reason why he's using deep breathing as well. No, Joe is... I remember Perling, like, the first T-line he ever attended back in, like, 2019. He did, like, super good and immediately caught the attention of, like, your, uh, our T at the time, like, Sherlock. Who is also technically still T.O., but co-T.O. now. But anyways, they, uh, they, uh, caught their caught his intention. So it was like, where on earth did you come from? You were playing, it was like, no, actually, it's the first time I ever enter a tournament. You just, it's, it's grips. You always get these people that are, like, just, like... They, they practice and they practice and they're good, they're good. But then right beside them, you have people like Solar Flare or you have people like Solar Flare. Yeah, exactly. Well, Solar is a bit different because he's a fucking prodigy at, at fighting games in general. Mm. Whether it's Rival, Street Fighter, uh, or specifically, specifically Guilty Gear. Like, he will do, do well. I don't know what he got to No, Squidward got second. Mm. I think... Yes, exactly. We have the PC right there. So we had 19 just for P+. That's excellent. Uh, oh, I don't see... But yeah. No, did he... Are you sure he signed up for uh, Soul? For... Uh... That's his spells. No, I don't see him. Mm. Okay. Yeah, no, that, yes, yes, you're right. You can uh, do like two tournaments at a time. I get why for doubles, though. But it's crazy to me that you can't be like in the uh, Street Fighter and Amateur. It's, it's I mean, it, the, it's weird. There are rules here for like, when it comes to like. It makes sense, but. Yeah, for certain games, it makes sense, like doubles too. Like, you really want everybody to be on deck because you miss one person, it's like you'd like the entire bracket. So, 33 entrants for um, Melee. Did Melee? Did, yeah, the games are doing really good today. <laughs> yeah, Solar Flare. Uh, he goes TK. Oh my god. This man, this man just plays the, the heaviest characters. It's like he does not care about like how good they are. It's like you're heavy, like the heaviest. I, I get you. Oh, and that's three. Oh, three one for Joe. When I proceed to get into top eight from the winner side, a very very comfortable position. For sure. No problem. It was nice commentating with you. And for us, we'll take a short little break. Yeah, for me, I will take a comment, a bit of a commentary break. I'll still try to like be around stuff, like update the score and everything. But yeah.